Hey, what's up guys? In today's video, I'm going to be showing you an add-on that allows you to do something a little special with slabs. So, as you know, slabs exist in Minecraft, and with them, you can place them down. Right? And that, that's cool and all, but it's nothing special. You can make them a full block, but that's not special either. Now, something that is special is you can do this. You can't, you can't normally place a slab uh, on its side, but with this add-on, you can. And you, as you can see, you can also place it on the floor. So... This add-on also includes some custom crops where you can place anywhere you want. It doesn't have to be on tilt ground. You can jump on it. It won't break. Stuff like that. It has a few of them. Now, I'm going to walk over here just to show off a little more stuff with it. Uh, as you can see, different crops. And you can do a few things with them, like for detail and such. Just add them on paths. They make them look a bit better. Now, I'm not a builder or anything, so this isn't going to look the best. But... You can imagine what you could do, because uh, you're probably a lot more talented than me. Now, this house probably looks like a normal house. But, the thing about it, is if I go to the side over here, you'll notice that this wall is kind of indented in half a block. And then, as you can see, these are just stairs, but these are vertical slabs. Now, these can allow you just to do a few more things with building detailed things a bit better. You can use stairs, and then they kind of just align with them. And they're pretty good for detailing. So... Uh, another thing, inside the house, uh, the walls, they're a bit, like, pushed in, but that's because the outside is cobblestone. The inside is now polished andesite, which you can do this just because, um, obviously, it's half a block, so it doesn't look as noticeable if, as if it was a full block, just completely uh, pushing in. Um, but you can make it kind of look like that the outside is one block and then the inside is a completely different block. You can also put, like, things half in blocks, like crafting tables, furnaces... Just like this, right here. Um, you can do some things like this. Nothing too special, but it just allows for you to do more. Uh, up here, this is just a demonstration house, so it's, you know, nothing special. But, uh, that's enough of me just going on saying, like, all the stuff you can do with it. Because, I mean, it's pretty simple, like, what you can do. But you can go super in detail and get really uh kind of complex with it or make really nice builds so let me show you how to get these blocks now the first thing you're going to need is to download the add-on the link for that will be in the description um you do need experimental gameplay on to be able to use it so make sure you have that turned on in your world and whenever you have the add-on in your game uh what you need to do is type slash function bb uh, and then if you want slabs, it would be bb slash vertical slabs and then get blocks. If you enter that in chat, it says you've been given all the slab types. Then if you open your inventory, you can see that you have all the slab types. So let's say I just want to use stone. Then it's as simple as just placing it down. And you can make it a full block if you want. You can place them on top of each other, stuff like that. And then you can do it with any of these slabs here. Now, like I said, there are uh, some plants in here too. So if I clear myself and then do function uh, and then the one to get plants, which as you can see, it's right here. If I enter that, um, then I have all the plant types. So there's wheat stage zero to seven. And I'll show you what these look like quickly. Or yeah, let me, let me start from zero. So this is what they look like. They can be used for detailing or if you just want to have, let's say, um, something that looks like just a wheat uh, kind of field. Uh, but people can't jump on this to break it. And then something that I find pretty cool to do. Uh, I was experimenting with it earlier. In my opinion, looks pretty cool. You can uh, place them on top of each other and uh, make it look like a better wheat field. Just because it looks like it's like double high wheat. Um, so that's something you can do with it. And like I said, there's a few others. There are carrots, beetroot, uh, there's potatoes. And then we're going to be adding other stuff to it. But, um, yeah, there's currently not too much more to the add-on. I mean, you have all the vertical slabs in these. It's just a few, it's just a tool that adds a few things into the game that can make buildings, um, look a bit nicer. You just have more flexibility with it. Uh, yeah, but, uh, link for the download will be in the description below. Uh, join the Discord for it. I'll also link that below the download. Um, if you have any suggestions for the add-on. Or you just want to be notified, like, whenever there's updates or new stuff gets added. We're going to be adding, like, uh, slabs such as, like, let's say sand slabs, for example. Or dirt slabs. Stuff like that. Just slabs that don't exist in the game already. Just to allow for a lot more possibilities. But, uh, yeah, that's going to be pretty much it. This was a short video. But it was just show off the add-on, what it can do, and what you can do with it. So, um, yeah, if you have any suggestions for the add-on, either join the Discord and then uh, let us know there. 
or leave a comment down below. And uh, yeah, so that's going to be it for me uh, for today. And I will see you guys in the next video. If you like this video or like this add-on, whichever one, make sure you leave a like. If you really liked it, make sure you subscribe. And then if you have any suggestions for what we could add, leave a comment down below. So uh, I'll see you guys next time. Peace.